Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode where we, as Shadow James, bring you kind of a multiplayer series where you guys have never seen before. I'm actually going to be doing a kind of series of my good friend here of Dominic, otherwise known as Just That Guy Dom. He doesn't really have creative names, people. Say hi, Dom. Hi, how you doing? Alright, and what we decided to do today, people, is that we wanted to do an entirely new series that no one else has done before. And we decide, you know what, not many people really take advantage of the aspect of multiplayer where you can play each other's countries. I mean, people always would like to play as like, uh, you know, France, or they like to play as like Hungary, you know, to kind of keep that multiplayer series. This time, me and Dominic had to do this idea where like, hey, let's take the idea of a split emperor to the utmost and max, where we basically split up everything in the entire menu to fit our own needs. like. What me and Dom are basically going to do is that we're both going to be co-emperors. Is that correct, Dom? Yeah, well, well it's not much of an empire, but <laughs> yes. Well, basically, I'm going to call it an empire because this is my realm, okay? Ooh, ooh. This is the empire of Poland, man! Empire of Poland! The so, mighty Polish empire. Yes, it's the Polish empire. So, basically what we are trying to do, people, is that we are trying to... We basically divide up everything between us, like the armies, the diplomats, the merchants, and we're basically going to be keeping to our own spheres. Um, I think we also divide up the land. Like, you get the northern part, I get the southern part. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. Um, I like it. Basically, the land of Krakow, Salamisk, or Sandomezores, and, oh, and Lublin, Lublin. Oh, by the way, just so you know, guys, I am going to be a butcher of names. Okay? This has already been proven in my own series, so please... <laughs> For caution of everyone, I'm going to butcher Slavic names. You can help me. You can honestly help me by saying what they are pronounced in the comment section. But I will be honest with you. I'm going to butcher a lot of names. I will also butcher them. Yes. My friend is also not very good at that, but he's actually decent about Russian, so he might be able to get the Russian names. Okay. Well, yeah, but that's not going to help <laughs> okay. much in Poland. So, what I was about to say was that, let's see, Dom gets about these northern provinces of... Uh, Polots, Glingots, and all that. Do you want to cut it at the uh, the trade route? Basically, what I'm thinking of is that we're getting... I get Slamenska, Lubin, Lu, Ruthenia, and Polamia for right mm -hmm. now. And then once I... Once once we inherit Moldavia and... Bless... Ble I hate you, Slavic! You guys don't have anything in common with American! Best Arabia. Uh... Okay. Vesalabia, I will basically give up my claims on on Sandemotes and Lubin and we'll just count it as like neutral territory because I think the capital should be neutral territory because if anyone... are, are we going to move the capital to Warsaw? Eventually. Eventually. Okay. Eventually. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll Cause, we have time. Because then, you know, it's not going to be so neutral. <laughs> it might be. I mean, there's always a possibility that we oh. uh, have a little... Something, something happen, if you know what I mean. Uh, a sudden and shameful removal of the Teutonic Order. Well, there's that, but I was thinking more of the lines of, like, gigantic nukes and, like, explosions and, like... Well, whoa, 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 whoa. What mod <laughs> did you put on here? Uh, I, I checked there were no nukes. I checked... I, no, no nukes in this. You just have oh. to look very hard. It's in the interface. Just, just you gotta try very... really hard and get to... No, you uh, have to try... No, this is what you have to do. You have to try really hard and you have to believe, man. Anyone believe. else says, you have to believe. Believe in the Mega Campaign? Just go into Hearts of Iron real quick. <laughs> okay, so with that little intro, guys, we're going to be starting this series. Um, I don't know how long this is going to be. I don't know if we're going to play this game all the way to the very end, but we'll just play for as long as this is fun and as long as you guys are having fun with it. Okay, so with that, Dom, do you want to begin this? Uh, sure, I'm already taking my army and running away. Oh! Hey! Okay, well then, I'm gonna build myself a new army then. Yeah, you do that. Alright, before you start using up all my money. Oh, ah. your money? Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Ha ha, got my own one. Uh, we're gonna rival Muscovy, because of that. <laughs> Wait, what? We can't even rival Muscovy. Oh, we good, good, because I don't want you to rival Muscovy. We should rival the Teutonic Order, though. Okay, Teutonic Order would be fine in rivaling. Uh, I'll do that right now. Teutonic nope, Order... too late. Uh... Mm. Let's see. I what's, wanna... uh, what's rival Lithuania, guys? 
rival Lithuania, and then you get the last little rival guy. Uh, no, are, did you actually rival Lithuania? Uh, I I rival Livonian order. Okay, how's who? Yeah, that, that I not be, I'm, be not, really I'm not. I'm not. I'm not stupid, Dom. I know how this works. Hmm. Who don't I like most? Um. I don't know. Bohemia gets kind of strong. I we can't really attack the HLE because exactly. So I maybe like Hungary. Hungary would probably be who we have to expand into very quickly because we don't want Austria to get like a ton of land. Mm -hmm. And we um, have the truce of the Ottomans for a couple more years, so that's nice. Okay, and for missions right now, we already get a mission to conquer Colm, which I think Colm is in what land? Colm. Uh. Uh, that's Teutonic Order. That's the province right next to us. Oh, you want to take that immediately, or form an uh, alliance with Lithuania? Can we get an alliance? I think we could just... Yeah, we could. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take the uh, form an alliance with Lithuania quickly, and okay. then what we're going to do is we're going to, like, offer an alliance, get the alliance, get the prestige of that. Once we get the prestige, then we will get the uh, conquer of Teutonic Order, and then we'll go take... Then we'll go take that line to go take over the Teutonic Order. Yes, I okay. agree wholeheartedly. And co-emperor, do you agree with what I just said? Not at all, but I'll 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 go with it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and like I said, people, this is going to be a divide series, so he does have as much power as I do. Yeah, so, as much. So we can royal. So we depending on the situation, we could either really help each other, or we can royally <laughs> screw each other. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, we'll be the best of friends. Best buddies. Forever mm -hmm. and ever and ever. We'll spend centuries of time, dude. It'll be, it'll be good. Yeah, will we? Okay. Uh, do you want to hire any advisors? Because we've got uh, about four and a half to cots coming in. We could probably hire some advisors. By the way, we should probably start the game a little bit because... Yeah. It's been like six minutes. And we still haven't even started. <laughs> okay. Military Alliance got the prestige now. Okay. Uh, Royal Marriage of uh, Lithuania. I'm going to take that because I want to try and get him under our wing as soon as possible. Okay, yes. Get him under your wing as soon as possible because we want that personal union underneath them. Oh, uh, they, no, they offered okay. it to us. Oh, uh, okay. That works. We didn't even have to do it. Okay, and then next we need a solidified people relationship. Nah. <laughs> Be Conquer, a good Catholic. Conquer Colm is next. And let's see. What do we need to do with our with our with our people? Um, hey Dom? Yo. Since I'm kind of since I'm kind of like kind of taking over the diplomatic screen a mm -hmm. little bit, how about you manage the uh government, okay? Um okay. Okay. Like how do you mean? You get to you get to decide advisors. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Um, I like blowing money on advisors. Okay. But what I'm going to be doing with my diplomat is I'm going to be um, improving relationships with Austria because right now we could probably get an alliance with them. And that could save us a lot of time. Like in a lot of things. <laughs> in a lot of things. A lot of things? Yes. I'm also... uh, how good is the Krakow node? Do you know off the top of your head? Um, Krakow node, usually not that good. Mm. Usually this... Usually this region over here in like um Eastern European land usually not very good because it's I all... the Kiev node's insane. The Kiev node is kind of insane, but we don't have really much power in it. Not yet. We have to start Wow Lithuania, dude, you own everything in that node. You basically need to we're basically gonna need to like first own the Krakow node and then once we control this and we can start like figuring out what we wanna do to the rest of the nodes. Mm -hmm. Well, I was, I was just saying, because we ever have trade efficiency, the yeah, words, trade <laughs> efficiency, there we go, and diplomatic reputation, I was, I'm not really sure yet. Oh, by the way, Dominic. Yeah. Look at my, look at my army. Oh, oh, by the oh, way, everyone, oh. I named my army my personal dojo. So this is the and personal dojo army. It's the army of the doge. I, so why do you have a Venetian army? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go with trade efficiency because we can start asserting dominance over Krakow. Okay, that's what I mean. Uh, I don't really. Uh, still making money, barely, but you know, it's happening. Yes, I'm building up a bigger army than you. 
I need one more soldier. Eh. Let's see. No! Nope. Oh, you. Nope. I still have a bigger army than you. If we were divided up in nations, I could totally beat you up right now. Yeah, but if we were... But what about our... What about the children? The poor vassals? The vassals, the vassals can... They'll, they'll deal with our strife eventually. We'll... They'll, they'll, they'll come to love our hate love relationship towards each other while my army's bigger than yours. That's the personal doge army. Oh, by the way, ha! I also have a general. What up? I was gonna do that, but I didn't want to be a dick and take the military power. But you know, whatever. If you want to, if you're into that sort of thing, then uh, yes. it's fine, I guess. I'm gonna embargo the Teutonic Order. Okay. Get that power projection up. Let's see. They're only allied with Hungary and the Livonian Order. We could probably take them on right now. The Teutonic Order? Yeah. Well, Hungary has a bigger army than us. We have Lithuania. Mmm, that's also, painfully true. What's Lithuania even doing? Uh, oh, they're fighting Novgorod right now. Yeah. Oh, by the we way, should we should probably also, wait till that's over. By the way, we also have Austria as an alliance too. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Maybe we might be able to take them. Uh, Dominic, we have Austria. Yeah, I don't know. We're also losing money. Which is why we should go invade because we're losing money. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. So uh, I have Casas Belly, I think. Yes, so. you do. Um, we're in a Regency Council. Woot! Can't do anything. What? Yeah, I, we're in interim until we uh, marry Poland. Uh, <laughs> oh, start uh, taking out them loans, I guess. Uh, no, I'll just I'll decrease my army size. Okay. Yeah. I'll be I'll be a nice person and decrease my army size. Right, very nice. Okay. I just split up into five parts. There we go. My army is about as big as you. About as? <laughs> I think it's exactly as big. Oh, well, you got that, you know, pretty little star next to you. You know what? It's still bigger in my mind. Okay, okay. so... Let me... Well, you know, these guys are giants, I mean. Alright, so let's see. So what do we need to do to form a union under Lithuania? I've never actually done it before, so... so we... oh. We just oh, need... it's a national decision, I think. We just need stability of one. Um... That's all we need. Really? Right now? Yeah! Uh... What the heck? Let's... Yeah. Okay, when do we get stability of one? Okay, in... A couple turns! In too long. Shoot, and we have two orthodox countries. Hey, Dominic, you can manage religion screen. I don't really want to deal with that. It will convert to the true faith of Eastern Orthodox. Uh, I don't quite like that <laughs> idea, especially considering most of our land is Catholic. No, that's fine. Uh, we actually have not Oh, yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah, um... Well, you see, that, that was in Rufania, and I think that's more of your problem, so I'm going to let you take over on that front. It seems to be your personal problem. Uh, the heresy. Eh, the heresy's not. It's in my land, but still, you could be a little bit more. Hey, I, I started taking care of Rufania. That's from me to you. Well, thank you. Yeah. All right. So let's see. We have about stability. Um, it'll take us about another like couple turns before we'll be able to like. Do you want to take it up to three or something? I mean, yeah, we can take it up to three. Hopefully, my fraps will not drop in that time. Hopefully. Because I'm really worried about that. Like, I don't want my fraps to drop at all or get any kind of, like, problems. Because mm -hmm. problems very bad in EU3 or 4. Whatever game we're playing right now. Um, Call of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duty. No, sco no scope sieges, man. <laughs> no scope sieges? No scope sieges. Dumb cannons. Double YY. Okay, so let's see. I'm just literally hovering over the screen of the stability and expansion page. Nice. I am waiting for when we get that one plus one stability because I really want to get Lithuania underneath in a personal union. Mm hmm. If we get that personal union, we're powerful. We can, yeah, well, we, it's the start of the pink blob. Mm hmm. And no one's going to be able to stop us. Our empire of Poland will span the test of time. And then get invaded by Germany. Well, yeah, but we don't talk about that. 
Oh my goodness, the death of a merchant. One of the great and richest men in Poland have died without an heir. He and well the known Shame. patron of the religion of art. The state needs the money or use them use them as he would have. So I get a theologian, philosopher. Do I want to get money or do I want to get... No, I'm going to take money. Takes money and run. <laughs> so did any of our merchants actually die? No. No. Good. We have uh, me and... Yes. Oh, and... but... By the way, we should probably go about how we pronounce these things. So, Bronislav Lackey. Yes, we have first Bronislav Lackey, which I, 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 sorry for whoever's actually named this, but we really cannot pronounce it, and it really does sound like Bron. It sounds like Bronislaw Lackey. Then we have Jean Colomez Wilbolski. Then we have um, Hello. um, Andrzej Sinolisk and then we have Dominisk. Uh, Do Dominic. It's, it's it's not that hard. What? Oh, Dominic. we got it. Okay, we got it. Okay, that's the decision. Yay! Very good. Now we can do things like yeah. say, I don't know. What's a good thing to start off with? Declaring war. I like it. Let's do it. Elected monarchy in Poland. What? Oh wait, wait, wait. pause, 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 pause. We we have uh, a, uh, I have uh, to read this event. So, on the death of the last pious monarch in 1370, Polish nobles began drawing on ancient claims and historical precedents to assert their independence from the monarchy. At first, only a small part of the noble class would assert, would assert its privilege to choose the next king, or in 1384, queen, since they backed somebody's claim. But eventually, the right to elect the ruler of Poland was expanded to Polish nobles. Keep in mind that in Poland, nobility was inherited by all children of an entitled person. Oh, that is a terrible idea right there. So that's a terrible idea. So at its peak, half a million Poles could claim a voice in the election. Nice. <laughs> oh my! Are we going to become a noble republic? Is that what's happening wait, wait, wait. here? So, by far the wildest possible franchise in Renaissance Europe and probably the largest democratic system until the French Republic. True royal election began in 1573 at the election of Henry of Boulot. Um, since foreign princesses were always claiming a Polish throne anyway, why not have the nobles choose among them during the Commonwealth period? The King of Poland and Grand Princesses of Lithuania were elected by noble gatherings at a field in Walla, just outside Warsaw. Um, tens of thousands of nobles could be expected to attend, and the largest mandates would mingle with the poorest count in exchanges of favors and votes. This first election took four to five days to conclude. Future ones would be smaller and over in a day or two. And these events would be full of parties, fairs, and armed men. While the election was going on, royal power would be vested in an interrex, a temporary regent, usually the, pre the premier of Warsaw, who would oversee the voting. Okay, and then it says, we trust the nobles. And we get negative one risk, uh, national risk, National mm -hmm. manpower is 10%, and income from vassals plus 25%. And I'm, we change, I'm okay with this. And we change to an elected monarchy. Ooh. 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 What's the election time? Uh, every... Until death. Oh. That, I'm okay with that, then. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. So let's see. What's going to happen? Okay, so... Basically, we are at war with Teutonic Order, Bavaria, Hungary, and Livonian Order. But the good thing yeah, about this, the good thing about this is that Austria is in the war too, so they're just gonna go beat up on Hungary, so we don't have to deal with them. Dominic, do you think your eight stack will be able to deal with the Teutonic Order? Uh, I know they start off with a nine stack, and we have the Lithuanian armies coming, so yeah, that should be fine. We should, we also have the Man Manitoba army too, but oh, they're gonna do a lot. Yeah. Well, considering they're gonna add about twelve five regiments to you, that's yeah. actually a good decent amount. But um, I feel good. Let's see. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go after... Because I think we could probably... Let's see. Um, we have to think of this as a terms of expansion. So what do you think would be more important? We go after... We take a little... I don't want to take Newmark because that will piss off the HRE. Okay. I think then what I think we should do is we should probably go after um, Hungary and Teutonic Order. Mm -hmm. You should probably try to prioritize Danzig. And actually, you just, I'll let you manage whatever you want to, because that's the northern side, and I don't care about you northerners. Well, I don't okay. care about you southerners. I'll just do what I have to do down here, you do what you have to do over there, okay? Break! God, South Poles. They're always... Just realize what I just said, too. 
yeah. Oh my goodness, that is a big army. Oh, getting out of there. And that is today's the end of today's episode, everyone. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope that this was exciting and fun for you guys to watch. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe if you guys want to see more. And thank you guys. I keep saying this again. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Dominic, you want to say bye? Uh, sure. Yeah. Bye. Do the same to me. Or not. I don't care. Bye. Bye. -bye.